The INSTI HIV-1 Rapid Antibody Test Kit is available in individual or in 24 test packaging and contains all the components required for testing. The individual package and 24 test package includes the following. Package insert, membrane unit, sample diluent, color developer, clarifying solution, alcohol swab, lancet, and pipette. US kits also come with a subject information brochure. First, open the INSTI package and gather all components required for one test. If you are using an individual package, remove all contents from the pouch. Before using the test, read the package insert to familiarize yourself with INSTI. INSTI is intended to be used in a step-by-step -step manner with no pauses or breaks during the testing process. Once you start the test, perform all the following steps immediately and in sequence. When you are ready to test, tear open the membrane unit pouch at the pre-cut edge and carefully remove the membrane unit without touching the center well. Place the membrane unit on a level surface before beginning the test. For sample identification purposes, the tab of the membrane unit may be labeled with the patient's name or identifier. Make sure the tab of the membrane unit is oriented towards you. Sample collection. INSTI can be used with finger stick blood, venous whole blood, and plasma specimens. Collecting finger stick blood. First, open bottle number one, the sample diluent. Position the patient's hand in a way that is comfortable for the patient and allows you to easily press his or her finger and collect blood. The hand should be positioned at waist level or lower. Wipe the fingertip with the alcohol swab. Massage the patient's finger in one motion towards the tip. You may have to do this a few times to allow the blood to move to the surface. The fingertip will become pink. If the patient's hand is cold, use a heating pad if available to warm the hand. Remove the trigger lock from the lancet. The appropriate areas to prick the finger are indicated by the areas marked yes. Press the finger firmly at the point just below where the lancet will be applied. With the other hand, position the lancet. Holding the lancet by the body, push the lancet down to release the needle. Release the patient's finger and immediately dispose the used lancet into a proper sharps container. Do not squeeze the blood from the finger until you have the pipette ready in hand for collection. Lightly squeeze the finger in one motion towards the tip to release blood. As the blood bubbles up, hold the pipette horizontally and carefully touch the tip of the pipette to the bubble of blood. Do not squeeze the bulb of the pipette. The pipette is calibrated to 50 microliters of blood. Capillary action automatically draws the sample to the black fill line and stops. The amount of blood collected is critical. Filling the pipette stem indicates when you reach 50 microliters of blood. Do not hold the pipette vertically to collect blood. Gravity will not allow capillary action. Add the 50 microliters of blood from the pipette to bottle number one, the sample diluent, by squeezing the pipette bulb. The pipette stem has a pin-sized hole located at the black line. Squeezing the pipette bulb usually expels the blood from the pipette stem. However, if squeezing the bulb does not expel the sample into bottle number one, cover the pinhole with gloved fingers and squeeze the bulb again. This should release the sample from the pipette stem. Step number one, sample diluent. Once the sample has been transferred into bottle number one, 
the sample diluent, recap the bottle, and mix well by inversion. Open the sample diluent and pour the entire contents into the center of the membrane unit well. The sample should be absorbed quickly. If HIV antibodies are present, they are captured at the test spot by proteins on the membrane. Wait for all the liquid from bottle number one to be absorbed completely. Step number two, color developer. Resuspend the color developer by slowly inverting to mix the solution thoroughly until the reagent is evenly suspended. Open bottle number two, the color developer, and pour the entire contents into the center of the membrane unit well. The solution should be absorbed quickly. Wait for all the liquid from bottle number two to be absorbed completely. The color developer will generate a blue control spot and a second blue spot if HIV antibodies are present. Step number three, clarifying solution. Open bottle number three, the clarifying solution, and pour the entire contents into the center of the membrane unit well. The solution should be absorbed completely. The clarifying solution will reduce the background to provide more contrast to the spots and facilitate reading. Immediately read the result while the membrane is still wet. Interpretations of the results. Do not read the results if more than five minutes have elapsed following the addition of clarifying solution. When reading the results, make sure the tab of the membrane unit is oriented towards you. Non-reactive result. One blue control spot that is clearly discernible above any background tint should appear on the membrane. The control spot indicates the test has been performed correctly and a human specimen has been used. Reactive result. Two blue spots, one control spot and one test spot that are discernible above any background tint indicate that the specimen contains HIV antibodies. Invalid result. The test is invalid if there is no control spot on the membrane. Conduct the test again with a new kit. A reactive test should be readily visible to the naked eye. If there is any doubt, repeat the test. Following a reactive rapid test result, a venous blood sample must be drawn in an appropriate blood collection tube and forwarded to a laboratory for HIV confirmatory testing. The INSTI HIV Rapid Antibody Test is intended for use by trained personnel in medical facilities, clinical laboratories, emergency care situations, physicians' offices, voluntary counseling and testing programs. For more information, please visit www.biolitical.com.